Hello, you. Welcome back to Foundation. Welcome back to our little, uh, our little village here. That's uh, it's going all right. It's doing okay. We've got the, the Lord's Manor's up a mile away from anything, but otherwise it looks like we're doing okay. I'm really hoping. I just saw a trader there. I'm really hoping this trader wants to sell cloth because we don't have cloth available yet. Uh, honey, glass, tools, and fit barrels and fish. Now that's disappointing. Um, I'm gonna have to. The problem is, I I've set up a second stall here to sell bread. And the problem is, I put these little toppers on it, and because I can't finish the toppers because we don't have any cloth, it won't it won't class the food stall as being done. So I can't actually, uh, you know, set the market up to anything. It's still saying cloth. So I think I might have to destroy the whole thing and start all over again to be honest with you but that's okay we can do that let's go to our monument build and we'll go to market and from now on i'm just going to build stalls and then we can go back in and add stuff on later if we want to so stall um how do you want to do that i kind of like the I, I like the sort of circular sort of npcs coming in i'm going to leave space for one there so we can break them up a little bit that that, that seems quite fun you know, imagine you're an RPG player and you come running in. That's good. So, food stall sign. These are these are pretty cheap and easy. So, I'm going to put down one of them there. Uh, food stall sign. Adds a little bit of splendor to the world, you know. Makes it look nice. There we go. Uh, we can do a little bit of fence as well. They use planks, but I think otherwise we could do something like this across from either side. That look pretty neat as well. Maybe some barrels. They just use planks. Planks we're okay for. We oh hello. We have uh, we have planks. I'm gonna put some barrels down as well. Okay, I'm gonna start construction on that. Okay. And on pause, and then hope, hope, and pray we can get them because that's that's our main source of income at the moment. Really, is is selling the stuff that people produce <laughs> back to themselves. It's kind of crazy, really, when you think about it. They're making the bread. I'm taking the bread off them and then selling it to them, which is pretty fun. It is pretty fun. Good way of doing it. Look at them all getting the berries. Literally picking the berries. They come here, and then I sell the berries. Okay, so now we can set these to be berries and bread. And we have one market tender assigned so how do we do do we do that from down here i'm assuming i'm assuming there's people who are unemployed so gunther you are now a where are you a market tender there you go two of two fantastic berries and bread the bread's stored over here 50 bread sat in there that's great there it is so now people will buy berries and bread. That should really increase our uh, our revenue. It's kind of doubled, doubled the products we have. Um, we can also get fish on the go, which I want to do. Uh, but what I do want to do as well is that is uh, this this area is slowly getting getting cut down of uh, of trees. It's not ideal, but it's getting there. Really want to get this area done, and, and like I said before, move this farm a little around and bring our stone operation down here. That to can handle both of these stones here to, to kind of get the desirability away from there because then we can have another village here and then also a uh, a fish fish mongers fish wharf or whatever they're called down here. So uh, let's do the fisherman's hut first. I think we have to unlock it. I think we have to unlock it. So let's have a look at here. Uh, oh no, it's the army. We don't need the army yet. We're not that far ahead. So, Fisher's Hut, we need one, which we've got. We could do a... Oh, we could do Rustic Church additional parts. That's good. We could do Fisher's Hut. Um, and we and then we have got the, the, the beginning of a keep there, but I, I will save that for now. Because I don't, I don't think we get anyone bad turn up. It's just for sending army out, actually. So, Fisher's Hut, I assume... Has to go near the water. I mean, it can go... Can go there. Like that. I suppose. Um, and then I'm going to come in and change the extraction zone from that to this. Ah, we don't actually own this bit of land yet. 
which we're going to have to if we want to do what we want to do. So, tertiary, it's going to cost us 500 gold, that's fine. Not particularly using gold for much else right now, so that's okay. So, extraction is this area now. Oh, there's berries down here as well, that's interesting. Not that we particularly need them. I don't feel like we need them, we've got 11. Is it just that they're not coming in quick enough, I don't know. Do people really want berries? I'm not going to promote any commoners yet, it's expensive. I'll get them surfs done though, so that they can at least uh, build themselves a house if they need it. I think they're probably okay. So we've got a little bit of space here. I don't like the I don't like the path being either side of the crop field. So I'm going to knock that down. There we go. There's a prediction of bad weather. I recommend that we stock as much food as we can whilst the weather is good. Oh, God. Well, we're, we're working on it. Let's say, uh, what do you need? Just just wood. Look, let's make you building construction priority. I mean, we just don't have... Why have we got no wood? I built off camera another lumber yard. Another woodcutter, excuse me. So I suppose they're having to come all the way down here for it, right? That's a, that's a bit of an issue. But it is what it is. There's nothing else being built, to be honest. So, that should go together pretty quickly. Walter's bringing woods, that's what we like to see. Otherwise, okay, market's fine. Doesn't look great, but we can do something about that later on. Uh, what I'd like to do, you see, is have eventually have all stores all around here. We'd like a nice little open area in the middle with some benches and stuff, you know. That, I think, would be fun. Village centre. I don't think we can ever do anything about the village centre, which is pretty crazy. Um, oh, we opened some bits up on the church there, didn't we? Let's go to edit and see what we now have available. Uh, additional parts. There we go. Stone extension. That's good. So that can go somewhere. I don't particularly need that. Stone extension bit. Oh, a nice little one. That's good. Something like that would be quite cool there, maybe. Yeah. And then, oh, and then graves. Let's put some proper graves in. Uh, there. Start. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay, where are we up to here? Still no wood. Is it all getting turned into planks or something? No, 50 planks. Yeah, I don't know, man. They just the wood just isn't doesn't seem to be getting there quick enough. There we go, fourteen. Perhaps it is just that we are using it. I don't think it gets used anywhere for like fires or anything. So I'm not really sure why it's taking. I guess it's just that by the time they come over here, they chop one down and they're, and they're tired enough, they go again. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Because this this has taken a long time to clear out this area. I mean, look, yeah, look, they're doing one tree basically and walking back. I, I'm guessing that's what it is. I think they're just. Exhausted, and you would be, I suppose, walking all the way across town. They probably only do one and then give up for the day. I don't blame them. I mean, I can't complain. It's not like I do a, a strenuous job, is it? But it's getting there, and it'll give us that third form of uh, food as well coming in. I think that's it for basic food, right? Let's have a look. Uh. That's just stuff we have. But if we look at, like, trade, for instance, here we go. So, swords, herbs, grapes, bread, fish, berries, wine, honey. They're monastery things, though, is the honey. I'm, I remember rightly, the, the, the monks keep these. Rustic church is upgraded. Nice. Got some graves outside. What do they actually do? Just add a bit of... Summit to him. Still not sure how we get a priest. Uh, but otherwise, that little building's in there. Just just adds a bit of scope to how many can fit in there, I think. It's nearly always full, look. Stone grave. No, stone graves are just for show. But they do add a little bit. But some of the other bits add a little bit. Okay, so fisher's hut's complete. Nice, so get yourself rose. You're going to be our fisherman. So you sort that out. And then what I want to do then is, re like I say, re readjust this uh, stone setup. So, stonemason's hut produces, no, not stonemason, stone cutter camp. There we go. 
So we want to have one here. See this, this I assume is the noise coming from it. So I'll have one here. Stone cutter count one here. And then in between those, the stone mason's hut that will basically feed off both. There we go. And then looks like this year we're probably stuck for weeds, but that's okay. What I want to do there is create, is keep this bread coming up this way. There's plenty of bread coming in. I, I don't think that's a problem so far. Let me bread this way. And then we can, once they're built, get rid of these. And hopefully, I think it looks like people will just move over. So is that done? I know you need some tools. Oh, we do have some tools. That's good. Still no wood. I, this, this isn't working really. I'm hoping these last few couple more and I'll be happy with it going up here that's that doesn't fuss me too much and then this can open us up to a little bit more residential nothing crazy just a little bit more residential as the as the farm sort of comes up maybe maybe even the farm comes up this way yeah I think maybe do that I'll tell you what then let's close off that as extraction there we go we'll manage as is put the extraction zone back there hopefully bring ourselves some woods back in we have an envoy what do you want berries I'm struggling on berries I'm afraid keeping it all I would like to I would like to offer you uh, I would like to give you berries but unfortunately it just isn't a, a product that I have so it's growing now so that's fine let's bring that down down let's say we'll so we'll get rid of all of that and we'll come around here. And this this can come up here. There we go. That, that can be the field. And lose that there. Okay. And if we come into oops. Okay. If we come into this one and adjust you for next year. So if we take you a little that way. Actually, mm, thinking we get a third one in, but to be honest with you, it's producing enough wood at the minute. So let's just uh, let's just ignore those trees. What's going on here? And oh, no, it's just stone cutters saying they're done. That noise sounds quite negative. I find that the the building complete building noise. Stone cutter camp is that one done? Stone mason not quite. So we'll leave you for now. Uh, but you can go. Yes. Delete. And hopefully, Richard's got a job. Let's have a look. I'm hoping both of you find whoever was in there before finds work. Let's just fill it up with people and see what happens. There we go. Here, we, just as long as we get you right, Lucy, because you're a prime, prime worker. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have a we don't have resources. That's fine. We can totally fix that. So there we go. You get in there. I'll uh, take you off so you don't wander over there. Are you done now? Oh no, what we're we waiting for here? Cloth. We're we struggling with cloth. You know. Will we get cloth back if we delete that? We get two cloth back. The big problem is we we want to buy cloth. Nobody's selling it. The one who is selling it, uh, who is selling it? This middle one is it? Nobody is nobody selling cloth. Glass tools. Iron. Grapes. Herbs. I don't think anyone is selling cloth. We, we're going to have to build a cloth setup, which is which is here, Weaver Hut. But we need sheep farm for that. So where are we going to build a sheep farm? Are we going to build a sheep farm down here that, that kind of just potters past the... Uh, potters past the... Uh, 
Yeah, I think we are, aren't we? Let's, let's, uh, let's promote all of you. Let's make the most of the, of the, of the space then and get rid of some of those trees. Uh, sheep farm and then a weaver hut can go here. We've got almost like a bit of a business district here. I, I'm okay with that. High-end business. Nothing nothing that's going to bother the... Um, I was going to say nothing that's bother, bothering the houses as, as a house appears there. We might have to, I think we might have to cancel that house, I'm afraid. Sorry, folks. Find your own spot. Um, but now this is done. Yes. Oh, no, no cloth, of course. We're still waiting on cloth. Uh, well, it's going to have to stay where it is at the moment, then it become become not a nice spot to work. There's a there's space there for a house. There's definitely space. We can always come this way as well. We can't. So that's the end of the map. Um, yeah, this this will be a last little bit of residential here. Is this open and running? Fisherman? 30 fish? Nice. So let's sort fish out then. So here. Fish. And then we can edit the market. Add another food stall in. Just there. I'll adjust that path a little, but that's okay, I think. Um, food stall sign. Food stall sign, even. That was tricky to say. Um, quite like the fence opposite. I don't really know why I'm doing that, but I quite like it. There we go. Maybe a bench. They don't... Uh, they don't use them, I don't believe, but... I want to do one. There we go. Start construction. Thank you. So zero decided to stay. That's fine. People are homeless. I don't blame them. Any more houses popping up anywhere? Yes, there we go. There are two houses there. That'll get people all housed. I know it's not the ideal spot with the stone cutter at the moment, but, you know, it is what it is. Once the farm's up and running, hopefully that'll help. Weaver hut is complete. Where is the weaver hut? Ah, here, yes. So, I mean, you've got nothing to do yet, ladies, but uh, I say ladies, sorry. No, lady and gentlemen. Um, got nothing to do yet, but you will soon. Market is complete. So, let's get down to here and select you to be now fish. There we go. And if we come down to here to find somebody who's unemployed and tell you to be a market trader. That should be three of three people now to work the market. Perfect. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to let them all run around and hope. I hope they don't eat the. the they're going to eat the wheat. I don't think that's a thing, but that's okay. So you will produce. Wool. They actually grow as well. Look, you actually see them pop up with wool. How good's that? Actually, the wool grows on them. It's awesome. You're going to produce wool that's going to come up to here. And wool becomes cloth. And then finally, we'll have cloth. That's, that's taken a bit long to get. I think I probably should have realized that we weren't generating cloth that quick beforehand. Because that's uh, kind of left us in a bit of a lurch here. So this is with this awful spot that nobody likes and everyone hates and everyone hates me. So, do we now have fish there? Yes, we do. We can then make this market look like a market once that's done as well, which I'm excited for, because I think those, uh, those little additions on the top really do help. I have noticed that the, the cost necessarily is just going up with the, with the thing. So even though we're, we're producing more material, we aren't actually profiteering much, you know? Kind of noticed that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, there we go. There's the sheepies. All a little packed in, I'm afraid, but... You know, where is Victoria? I am gathering wool. Prove it. Is that you? Are you Victoria? Yeah. I'm gathering wool. Zero wool. Is the weaver taking the wool from you? No. Okay, so come on then. Let's see. Come on, you've just you've just been in there. I'm literally watching you wander around now. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. 
So come on then, show me the wool in there. Three. Okay. And somebody's job will be to take that wool to here. I hope. Here it comes, look, I think. Into there. There we go. And that produced us uh, cloth that's going straight back out again, but that's fine. Okay, we have cloth coming in for now. Maybe maybe that we, we hold on residential then and perhaps get another sheep farm here. Uh, the stonemason's hut is now complete, which is great, which means we can get rid of this noisy one here. Makes that area much nicer. There we go. That was good, see? Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Rather than aiming for like a third residential area, how about we just do this? And we've always got the path down here to the um, uh, the, the fish fisherman. Fish wall. But otherwise, that's just a bit of space there if we need it. And I think probably another let's have a look is that got so there's no there's no wool sat there so i think another sheep farm probably isn't an awful idea there that will feed into the there feed into this weaver's hut and then and then uh housing wise we'll start moving up the hill towards the lord's manor and then maybe we could look at doing some upgrades on the houses and having some more like stone houses up here and keep these as like Farming villages, I'm kind of thinking, you know, I think, and sort of sourcing everything into the middle of town. Perhaps that's the way to go about it. We have a, uh, we have a little dude here. What do you want? Five bread? Yeah, no worries. Um, I'm gonna say, let's have a look. Uh, not army manager, sorry, estate manager. So labour is Lord Manor Stone set, but we need commoners. We need commoners for all of these, actually. We need commoners there as well. So the only ones we need we can undo, do with Serious are these, and we've only got we need nine, and we've got four. So we might as well do do the king then, eh? Boom, and then that gives us the stuff we need to unlock all of those. And we've also got one to do hedge. There we go. Next episode, we'll look at starting a keep. I, I, I feel like it should be over here, really, where people are where people are entering the village, you know? Because this is... We're, we're safe by water all here, really. Is that the fisherman? Well, wow, she's... It's... Oh, my God. She's Jesus. Rose, you're incredible. Walking on water just to catch some fish. I'm impressed. I, I would maybe sit her in a little boat, devs, if you're watching. I think I think sitting old Rose... Maybe she's meant to be. I don't know. I, I would sit, sit a little Rose in a boat there. would be pretty sweet. Uh, this is going ahead. We're waiting on tools. We've got tools. Just needs to get it over to us. Henry's assigned to the construction. Go ahead, Henry. Uh, we've now moved stone. So we our oh, wood's coming back in now. That's great. Um, uh, berries still mega low on berries. I don't know whether or not we need to try and spread our berries out a bit. Maybe we can stick some over here. How many people are unemployed? We have three unemployed, which will... Uh, one will go there. We could have two people working on berries over here. Shall we do it? Gathering huts. I mean, it's the right sort of spot for one, eh? They come to work, they get their berries, they go home. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of sheep because... Until we've not got any left. Right, and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'll just have five sheep in each of these. See how we get on with that. Okay, sign available visual one, two, three, four, five. Five sheep there. And see if five's enough. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that. Because at the moment it seems like it's a sort of semi finished feature, that one. Natural sheep farm itself pretty much does exactly what the stone heart did, but that's fine. We've reorganised, you know, we changed uh, changed our role there. That's I've no no real issue with that. Um, we'll turn that off for now, so we can see the beautiful grass grow. Yeah, and then here we can gather up, hopefully gather up some more berries rather than just sticking loads around the one because it doesn't look great either, does it really? Let's be honest. I would like it to go eventually. I don't know whether we actually can ever get rid of berries. 
But I would like this area to not not be uh, to not be verified. Ha! Verified. And I'm gonna click here and select two of you to select some berries. And yeah, there we go. Nothing crazy happening in this episode. No big builds, uh, but definitely some stuff that we needed to get done. Next episode, we'll start working on a keep. And, uh, and we'll get some soldiers going, because I know that has come on a lot since last time we did it. Uh, the keeps in the game uh, here, wooden keep, and it was uh, definitely evolved. So excited to see that. Thanks for watching. Till the next one, be good.